Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about definition of dispersion and its classification. So, this topic was taken from Unit 7 in Nursing Research and Statistics for BSc Nursing students. This video is also useful for post basic BSc Nursing students and MSc Nursing students. Suppose if they have asked the definition of dispersion in two marks, what you should write that has been discussed in this video. In the year February 2022, BSc Nursing 4YDC question paper by Dr. NTR University of Health Sciences Vijayawada, Andhra Pradesh, they have asked this question in two marks. So, I am posting this video. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic dispersion. So, we have a brief introduction about dispersion. What is dispersion? So, in statistics, dispersion is otherwise called as variability, scatter or spread. So, in statistics, dispersion is also called as what? Variability, scatter or spread. So, dispersion is the extent to which a distribution is stretched or squeezed or moved away from the central value. So, in statistics, dispersion is the extent to which a distribution is stressed or squeezed or moved away from the central value. The common examples for measures of dispersion are variance, standard deviation, interquartile range and so on. So, what are all the common examples? Variance, interquartile range and standard deviation etc. We have few more which will be discussed later. So, this is only for two marks. If you want a detailed video, I will be posting in my next video measures of dispersion for five marks. So, I have given some two to three definitions. So, whichever definition is easy for you, you can write for two marks. Definition of dispersion. Dispersion measures the variability of a set of observations among themselves or about some central value. So, dispersion, it measures the variability, how much uh, the data has been scattered or va variable, okay, or it is squeezed out. So, that has been measured by means of dispersion. So, dispersion measures the variability of a set of observations among themselves or around a central value. For example, central value like mean like that. Okay, according to Brooks and Dix, Dispersion or spread is the degree of the scatter or variations of the variables about some central values. All definitions are more or less same in the meaning. According to Brooks and Dix, dispersion or spread is the degree of the scatter or variations of the variables about some central values. Some other definitions. Dispersion refers to the variation of the items among themselves or around an average. Okay, so it can be among themselves, the variation of observations among themselves or around an average mean. Greater the variation among different items of your series, the more will be the dispersion. So, greater the variation, more will be the dispersion lesser the variation less will be the dispersion so greater the variation among different items of a series the more will be the dispersion as per Bowley dispersion is a measure of the variation of items so according to Bowley what dispersion is a measure of the variation of the items so these uh, are the definitions of dispersion which you can write for two marks you can write one definition or two definition so it's better when they are asking some definition it is better uh, you you can uh, mention this uh, Brooks and Dix definition and Bowley's definition or whichever is easy for you also you can write at least some two to three definitions you can write or at least even if you are writing one definition also that should be correct then an extra information classification of measures of dispersion so there are two classifications major classifications of dispersion that is the absolute measures of dispersion and the relative measures of dispersion so let's see what comes under absolute measures of dispersion and what comes under relative measures of dispersion 
so let's see the absolute measures of dispersion so when you are measuring the dispersion in its original units okay it is called as absolute measures of dispersion for example the weight is measured in kg okay the dispersion values the range the standard deviation the quartile deviation mean or average deviation everything that is mean deviation everything you are measuring in the same units the kg okay weight i told weight is measured in kg suppose if you are going to express your uh, uh, deviation values also in kg then it is called as absolute measures of dispersion example suppose if the height is measured in centimeters and you are going to express the um, dv dispersion measures also in the same thing uh, centimeters then it is an example for absolute measures of dispersion so in absolute measures of dispersion you will be measuring in the same original units what has been given in the data okay suppose if they have given meters in data then the result also will be expressed in meters okay if it is in centimeters the results will be expressed in centimeter suppose if it is in gram per deciliter the results also will be expressed in grams per deciliter like that it goes on so what are all the things which comes under absolute measures of dispersion range mean deviation or it is otherwise called as average deviation mostly we used to call it as mean deviation mean average both are same no okay range mean or average deviation standard deviation quartile deviation okay range mean or average deviation standard deviation quartile deviation okay sometimes along with standard deviation we will be telling variance also okay range mean deviation standard deviation variance and quartile deviation what are the relative measures of dispersion see absolute measures of dispersion is expressed in the same original units what has been given in the data but in relative measures of dispersion it may not be expressed in the original units it will be measured in different units for example you can measure it either in form of ratio or percentage etc okay so all the relative measures of dispersion here you will not express the data in the same original units instead of that it can be measured either in the form of ratio or percentage or some other forms different forms okay so the relative measures of dispersion are coefficient of range coefficient of mean deviation coefficient of variation coefficient of quartile deviation so what are all the relative measures of dispersion coefficient of range coefficient of mean deviation coefficient of variation and coefficient of quartile deviation this is for your extra information it doesn't comes in the definition but you can have a classification so classification under classification of measures of dispersion these things will be coming up so when they are asking measures of dispersion for five marks you have to explain each and every thing range you have to explain standard deviation variance mean deviation quartile deviation everything you have to explain and you have to write the, the formula for each and everything okay so you have we have seen in classification absolute measures of dispersion and relative measures of dispersion absolute measures of dispersion range mean or standard mean deviation standard deviation quartile deviation whereas in relative measures coefficient of range coefficient of mean deviation coefficient of variation and coefficient of quartile deviation hope this video is clear for you all already we have posted many videos in nursing research as well as statistics we have posted a separate video uh, separate playlist for statistics also you can watch our channel playlist for statistics as well as nursing research and statistics related videos in our channel playlist uh, thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel if you still have any doubts feel free to post your doubts in the comment section thank you